Hello, Marcia here from the Clark County Genealogical Society. Here in our library, we assist folks wanting to discover their own family stories. And one of our resources is periodicals. It's a great way to grab a magazine from our shelf and, and pursue topical interests as well as specific family stories. Uh, and we have a variety on our shelf as a genealogical research library. So whenever you come in, you can grab a magazine, sit in our alcove, and read whatever you, interests you. First of all, we have general topical magazines, such as Your Genealogy Today magazine. Now you can see on the front all the many interesting uh, articles they'll have. These types of magazines will tell you how to research your family, but won't have your family necessarily mentioned. We also have Family Tree and Internet Genealogy. All three uh, subscriptions are in our library, and the newest one will be on the rack, and we keep two to three years on the shelves. Now, national genealogical societies, such as the National Genealogical Society, their magazine is NGS Magazine. They also have a journal. Now, they have large resources, and having both, they have a topical magazine and a journal which specifically will research families, and you may find clues about ancestors among their pages. We're also having American Spirit on our shelf, which is the publication for the DAR, or the Daughters of the American Revolution. Now, many of you may be aware this membership society requires that you prove your ancestry back to the American Revolution in order to become a member. So their magazine is a good source of how the DAR, Daughters of American Revolution, works and what's going on in their society. Regional genealogical societies our, our society is much like our own, and we swap publications. One of our swapping friends is the Tacoma Pierce County Genealogical Society. Their publication is The Researcher. This is a journal. It's, it has a lot of people, family, ancestry information. We're also collaborating and trading information with the British Columbia Genealogical Society, and here's their publication, Caribou Notes. If you have French-Canadian ancestry, know that we swap publications with the American-Canadian genealogists. They're based out of Manchester, New Hampshire. We also get incoming journals and newsletters from uh, societies or family societies that members are members of. I'm a member uh, and a descendant of a Nye whose family uh, settled Sandwich, Massachusetts in 1635. So up on our shelves behind us is uh, the publication from the Nye family. All of these types of publication while um, they're out of the area, they offer you great clues on researching your family names. If you start properly with your, your name and research back in history, and you find there's a group of, with your family name or in an area that your family uh, resided way back in the day, Knowing that you can go look at their newsletter or their journal, and uh, if you don't find your people, you can find somebody that maybe you can contact 
in that area of uh, potential uh, research. It, it, it is proper planning before you book an airline flight, I think, to uh, find out all you can about who you might want to see when you make that great travel destination and into your own family history. The publication that we are most proud of here is Our Trail Breakers. Published since 1974, our journal is dedicated to the collection and publication of Clark County families and our own uh, regional history here, heritage here. This is the 2019 issue. There is a terrific article about one of the most colorful pioneers in our history, Peter Skeen Ogden. Uh, there's something about his negotiations with the Indians and his marriage to his Indian wife and a lost horse and a lost baby. Uh, you might want to come and read it one day. The table of contents uh, in here also lists every article, of course, and so it's not just about biographically noted pioneers in our area, but real family history of our members' families from wherever they are. Finally, I want to say something that's really great about the Trail Breakers is that it is fully indexed. Every name in this journal, which is usually about 100 pages, is fully indexed. So if your family might be mentioned in here, you can easily go to the back and say, oh, there they are, here's the article, and read it. And uh, go and find whatever resources uh, the writer of the article used to verify the, the historical contents. So if you like what you heard today, we hope you'll subscribe to our channel and follow along with Clark County Genealogical Society. Uh, we're learning how to share our information in, I guess, what we call the new 21st century ways. Thanks.